All right, so today in this bus video, we are kind of remodeling my whole back room in the bus, taking my bed out, building a loft bed, garage, shelf, bench, everything. So let me show you guys how it's built right now and what I'm going to do. Right here, we have my bed that I was going to have, then a desk right there and a closet. But right now, I'm thinking I'll put a loft bed, like the top of the bed, probably like right there. And that's all sleeping. Probably put a bike here, bike here, bike here. A little bench in the corner and then from this window all the way to that wall is gonna be open i can have a desk right there just leave probably a desk right there leave all that open all this is gonna be open so. there's still gonna be a lot of room to like hang out and stuff but my second idea was right when you walk in like i could have the loft on this side like face more towards the bed right here so I would climb up right here and climb into my bed. And then on the other side of my bed, you can like see down on the bikes. But I think on that side, it would be better for more, and just look for a better room and stuff. And the bikes fit better. And I got my bench like built in underneath the bed and desk. So I'm going to start tearing that one down and finish up the cabinets. That light doesn't work on things. I didn't even plug it in. But finish up the cabinets. Head to Home Depot and tear my, butt, my bed apart. Should be it. Just a couple other small things on my list at the depot. So I'm gonna think of a couple more things, more projects I wanna do. And buy it. Just buy a bunch of stuff. Here is the progress so far. I uh, just probably finish up the flooring in the bedroom just to get that done with. So I can uh, throw these out, save a couple of the nice clean sheets. And I made a little whoopsies right here. You can't even see it, but I just wanna make sure it's clean. I'll see if I can show you guys. Oh, you guys can kind of see that little mark right there. I'm going to use these last two, one new piece. Should fix that. Oh, I got to cut it too around there. Well, I'm going to clean that up today. Then I'm going to get two more boxes of that flooring to put right here. And I'm redoing the stairs up there. So I'm going to buy two boxes to finish that off. And stuff for the bunk. Tie downs. Okay, I just toss out the back door. One small piece. Should be pretty easy, just a couple screws. Just take off that bag piece, I'll just leave all those on there, throw it all out later, and take the couple pieces off the floor and go to Home Depot. The bed is gone, I kept a couple of long pieces. Piled up all the small pieces, this, most of the scraps I'm probably not going to use. It's right there. Might use them for scraps, but we're going to clean this up real quick and start thinking about some last stuff I need for my loft bed. Got to the depot on my first aisle right here. Again, a couple bolts. I got one, two, three, four, five, six. Why do I have eight? So, so right here, I got six bolts, six lock washers, six washers, six carriage nuts, and my lock right here for the back door of the bus. I had to get special bolts to fit in there. So head to the next. Just left home depot driving right now. Got a couple things in the back. Uh, I got flooring, bolts, a couple of latches. I don't think I actually paid for them. They were in the car, but she didn't scan them. Then I went to the van. I should have told you guys that, but uh, I guess she didn't pay for them. I don't know. I got to check the receipt again. And I got latches, bolts, flooring. Ooh, we had a faucet, so we might mock up the counter today. So let's head home, unload everything. I think I'm going to finish the flooring, then hop in the post. Here's the faucet I went with, and I'm not going to be using this bottom plate right here. I just want it to look like a well, like kind of rustic. So we got that, and that's... Little update on the back room. I got most of the flooring done, pretty much all of it. Just got this one last piece right there. And then the loft is going to be built. But starting work on the kitchen. Got the template I want where I'm going to put my sink. We're going to do it a little custom, a little different than how it's supposed to be because because how i want stuff is uh not how it's like supposed to be but it always looks better 
I don't know, one time that I, uh, I like to read, I like to do stuff my way, and then, uh, I don't know, gotta custom make it. So, we're gonna, got this template, so you're only gonna see the hole of the sink, and this is how it's gonna be mounted, it's gonna be mounted backwards, you're only gonna see the hole, you're not gonna see none of this, it's gonna be undermounted on the countertop. This the faucet's gonna be in the center, you're not even gonna see, it's just gonna be on top of that. So there's gonna be the faucet, then soap or hand sanitizer dispenser gonna be like right here on the side, and the cooktop. So I'm gonna trace the templates right now. Take the cover off that, trace the templates, and bolt her in. It wasn't as big as I said it was, but it looks better than this. Where is it? Look at that thing. Snakes are so gross. So today is going to be a, a little iPhone vlog working on the bus. Today we're going to be building the cabinets, ripping out this little, uh, that thing right through all the lights and the speakers go through because it'll take up so much space if we use that behind the cabinets. So I'm going to take that out, mount the light underneath the cabinets, start building the cabinets and pretty close. So here is the bottom of the cabinets that's going to be mounted right there on the wall and then i got the microwave right there and i'm just gonna get a nice clean piece right here put a one by one right there and then right there she's sturdy got the fridge mounted so far i cut out this side other side's pretty much half done but it is so hard to use these tin snips right here and flathead and a drill. I drilled a bunch of holes and snipped each hole. It's pretty hard, but halfway done. We're out. That took forever. That was a pain. So now I'm gonna go celebrate riding the pitter. First time using the freshy pliers. Spent 35 bucks on a pair of uh, needle nose and channel locks, but all they have to do is snip this real quick. We're good. Worth the money. So I don't know what you'd call it, but I got into another little like I don't think call it like a hobby collection. Something I got into over like this whole break, summer and stuff. Let me just show you guys a little walkthrough of my toolbox. I spent a decent amount of money on the stuff in here, but put my needle nose away. Here's the toolbox. Got a couple of stickers, T-bolt for the pit bikes. Shout out to Seth and Zane Vlogs on YouTube. Add me on Snap and FMF sticker. But these drawers are locking when this is closed. So here's what's in here. Got a pit bike thing I need to put on. Super glue, knives, all that. First drawer. Everything I need to fix the pit bike. Pretty much any dirt bike. Got my magnetic tray. The three sizes that I use and whole socket kit. Nothing special. And this is the only ratchet brand. Like, the only brand ratchet you can buy that has 160 tooth. You hear that? Now let me pull out a Garbo one. So you guys can pretty much hear the difference. It's way easier so when like you're working on something in a tight area, you don't have to like crank the ratchet so far. Like you don't have to get so much leverage. Just... So we got that brand new pair of channel locks, never even used before. And I got this stuff in here that uh, it's like a mat. So once you sit stuff in there for uh, like a long time, it like makes a spot in it and like a mold pretty much. So it doesn't fly around. Next drawer, got some nice pair of adjustable pliers, like needle nose, vice grips, 
this tool for my scooter, but per, those are the three sizes that pretty much like the three Allen key screws on a pit bike and any dirt bike. So that comes in a lot of handy. And then I decided to get one of these. And then a whole bit size of every single bit fits right in there. Driving the Rally Focus right here. Got the keys. Let's go. Forgot to film inside, but got a couple nice things. Underfoot, air hose reel, air pressure gauge for my toolbox. Uh, this magnet just to have for the toolbox. <laughs> and wanted to try this out. I wanted like a screwdriver that could fit everything. So I got this one right here. So let's crack this boy open. Close the door. First unboxing in the Focus. It's uh, $4.99. Pittsburgh T-handle latching screwdriver. That's a. It doesn't feel too bad, and it extends. I wish like the handle part was a little heavier, but I like it because then I won't strip any uh, bolts out. And. It came with all these little screwdrivers, just a couple Phillips, whatever. And look at this. There's a hole inside there. It fits in there. And now the handle feels a little heavier too. I love it. Best four ninety nine I ever spent right there. I forgot how much this was, like two ninety nine, whatever. But if you drop a bolt in the motor or whatever, nice to have one of these. I like it pretty good nozzle it's a little handier and this and small so you can get like pit bike tires like the lawn car ones that pretty much every single person has in their glove box can't fit in a pit bike tire so that's why i got this one got a little grip on it not bad i'm happy with this uh nice little harbor freight purchase but let's go home i gotta rip some pitters now okay a little update it's probably like six hours later i've been ripping pitters like a lot i take a break then i rip pitters for probably like an hour or two just around the yard but I'm pretty happy. Actually, I'm really happy with how it came out so far. It's pretty straight, pretty even. It's super sturdy, but let me show you guys what I've done. Ooh, so we're going to have one, two, three even cabinets right there, 14 and three fourths wide each one. There's going to be a door there, door there. I think it hinges, but I kind of like the top hinge. I don't know yet. The top hinge, I think, will look nicer and be easier. Put some nice, like, suspension hinges right here. Boom, 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 boom. So it stays nice and tight. And then I under mounted the light. It looks nice and slick, nice and even. The sink's gonna go right here and stove. But here's what it looks like so far. It's pretty sturdy too. It's really sturdy. It ain't coming down for sure. 